dexamethasone. When we talk about these zone suffix, we're talking about corticosteroids. Trade name for dexamethasone is Decadron. This is a medication that we give a lot in the neuro ICU because it can actually help with the management of cerebral edema. Now remember, these steroids suppress inflammation and they also suppress the body's normal immune response. So they're used in inflammatory states to decrease swelling and inflammation. One of the things it can be given for is to assess for Cushing's disease. So what's actually done is called a dexamethasone suppression test. And what's done is a certain amount of dexamethasone is injected into the patient. And then what they do is they assess cortisol levels. And this allows the provider to assess for Cushing's disease. Depending on how cortisol levels respond to this injection can help them determine if the patient actually has Cushing's disease. So the therapeutic class is anti-asthmatic and corticosteroid. The pharmacologic class is corticosteroid. With all these corticosteroids, there are certain things that you just have to keep your eye out for. One of these things that, that corticosteroids can cause is this Cushingoid appearance, the buffalo hump and the moon face. It can also cause weight gain and osteoporosis. Now, something really important you want to keep an eye out for is that it can decrease wound healing and decrease the body's natural immune response. So we want to be very careful in patients who already have uh, a, an untreated active infection. If they have this, this active infection, we want to be very careful because it can decrease the body's ability to heal from that infection. We also want to monitor liver profiles. As it is excreted by the liver, it can also increase cholesterol and lipid profiles. So you really want to kind of get a baseline lipid profile on your patient if they're going to be taking this medication for a long time and just kind of monitor lipid profile as the patient is taking the medication. Now, one really important thing is it can elevate blood sugar levels. We talk about this a lot, but you might see your patient's blood sugar spike up to 300, up to even 400 as they're taking this uh, and, and they're non-diabetic. So you really want to teach the patient, you want to teach the, the family that they're not diabetic. That this is a side effect of this medication. Now, guys, if you want to learn more about dexamethasone and the 140 must-know meds that you need to know on the nursing floor for your tests and for the NCLEX, head over to nursing.com slash 140 meds, nursing.com slash 140 meds to get your free plus shipping copy of this book, 140 Must Know Meds. Alrighty guys, we love you. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.